Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is 1 p.m. here in Crystal Lake, Illinois. That means it's time for another a live stream. I'm going to do a quick check here, make sure you guys can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me all right in the comments or in the chat. But uh, it is Friday. We made it to Friday, March 10th, I think it is. Uh, yeah, March 10th, 2023. And I've got a bunch of packages that I got to open up, stuff that arrived to me while I was in Japan. And then I'm going to show you a couple of things that I picked up in Japan. Uh, one, I already know what it is, but it's worth showing to you guys. It's pretty uh, amazing. So we'll get to all that and, you know, just hang out and chat, talk about whatever you guys want to talk about uh, as we go through that today. Let's have everyone listen in on the audio-only version on the podcast. Hope you're having a good run out there. We got a bunch of snow last night, so maybe you're having a fun, snowy trail run today. Hopefully it's fun, snowy, and not unfun, snowy. And everyone watch watching this on YouTube but not live, and you're watching it later, welcome to you guys as well. Maybe it's Saturday, Saturday morning when you're watching this. You're getting ready for your run, doing your mobility work before you head out there. Hoping you're having some good stretches. All right, let's see who we got here in the chat. We got... Frank that says, so now that you've had a week to recover, are you going to actually race Boston or do a fun run a la New York City? Um, something in between, I think, Frank. Um, I think I'm going to shoot for a BQ in Boston. I think that'll be kind of fun. Um, I'm just, I, I, one, I don't think that there's crowds lining the streets the whole way in Boston like there is in New York, so it doesn't kind of lend itself to that kind of video. And, um, you know, I would like to push a little bit, but, you know, keeping in mind that, like, you know, just had a really good race last week, and I'm not going to push it too much. I mean, I guess we'll see as we get closer how I'm feeling. But I'm I'm not a hilly course runner, and that's a hilly course. So I think that will just kind of, um, you know, um, I think we'll just kind of go out there and have a good effort and um, try to in really enjoy the day. Um, all right. Kevin Brandy. Kevin Bandy is here and says, I've been watching Cozy Vids ever since I started running last fall. First time in the live chat. Welcome, Kevin. Good to see you. And uh, let's see. We got Luis Becerra. He says, yo, what's going on? Luis, you getting ready for LA? Is that right? I um, hope that taper is going well. And Kevin wants to know, is it fine to run a half marathon without any hydration, only one or two cyst gels, science and sports gels? I would probably, I mean, I think it would depend on the temperature and how fast you're going to be. Um, like if you're going to be out there more than like two hours, then I would say you probably need to bring some hydration. If you're going to be out there for like 75 minutes, probably like a gel, maybe a cup of water somewhere in the middle is okay. Um, cause it's not that long of a time. So I think that that is going to, um, kind of factor into it. I usually bring two to three gels with me. Just because usually my half marathons are marathon training, and I bring six for a marathon, so I'll bring three for a half. Um, and I usually end up eating one to two. And then um, I'll usually stop, not stop, but like pick up a cup of sport drink somewhere along the way, maybe once or twice, depending on how hot it is. Uh, Lalo P says, yo, what's going on? David Sex says, hi, everyone. Bisham Mom says, happy Friday, all. Awesome. All right, Sean Devlin's got an update. Says, hey, everyone, with a wave, easy six today and felt pretty good. 12-mile long run followed by an hour on the bike tomorrow to simulate an actual long run. All right. Progress. Nice. Um, All right. Steve says, yo, what's going on? He did a first run in the Vaporfly 3, which is available seemingly everywhere except the United States right now. He says, I think it's an improvement. With a thumbs up. Yeah. I mean, I think if it's a softer foam, I think that I would prefer it. I just felt like the Vaporfly, you know, I ran the Vaporfly Next version one. Loved that shoe for the marathon distance. But then it's like other shoes came out after that. And now I'm like, that shoe's kind of like aggressive for a marathon, isn't it? You know? So um, I think it, if they wanted to keep it as a marathon shoe, because I think it had started to become like a half marathon shoe, at least with their elites. Some elites were still running marathons. In it, and a lot of people, I know you guys here are running in it. For your marathons but the thing it depends on kind of what they want to do with it um uh, daniel kwm says is that just for kim um i don't, I don't know this sometimes the way people spell on the internet says have you thought about trying the saucony pro plus and reviewing it uh, i'm not that interested in it um i like the endorphin pro 3 and i also like the endorphin elite and i think that the pro plus is probably not a step in the direction that I want. Because it's supposed to be the same foam as the Pro 2, right? Just with a different upper, I think. 
Or am I wrong? Yeah, I think so. So I don't know. CV76 says, is it time for locks of love? I don't know. I'm ready to have a haircut. I wanted to keep it long for Japan so I could have it in like a samurai bun kind of thing. But um, now it's just long hair. But I don't know how short I want to go. And so I, I don't think I could do locks of love. It looks like it's long, but the hair that's long, you know, down here in the in the way back, you know, starts at the base of my head, you know. So, mm, Bar Osh says, "Hey man, are you planning on inviting Ben as running to happy hour once he's back from Kenya?" That's a good idea. I I have a guest lined up for next week, and then after that, I gotta start calling some people. Not after next week, but like I gotta start contacting people for that. All right, let's get to some packages. Um. All right. The first thing I want to open is this. I, st I took this from the airplane. I don't know if you're supposed to take it or not, but I took it. Um, I I got bumped up to business class because I think I have status on United. or I'm Premier Gold or something like that. So I had an economy premium ticket, and so I think I got bumped up one. And then there was a whole bunch of stuff in that giant cubicle that they let me sleep in for the flight. Um, I'm guessing these are toiletries. But I don't know. I just like the, sh the case seemed nice. So I was like, oh, I wonder. I, I haven't. I hadn't opened it by the time I got to Chicago again. So let's see. Oh, something came out of there. First thing that came out of here was a uh, face mist. Yuzu face mist. Uh, yeah. And then this is a nice little toiletries package. I like it. And then stuff that I would imagine. Yeah. Earplugs. Yuzu lip balm, an eye mask. Oh, I, uh, I could have used that. Although I slept pretty good anyway. Um, on, on my way out to, to Tokyo, though I was in economy premium, which is still a pretty n really nice seat. Um, no, 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 this was in, oh, this was on the way to Germany. On the way to Germany, I don't think I told you guys this story. Um, I was sitting in just regular economy, which was very, very tight on a Lufthansa plane. And um, there was a, a, a younger woman sitting next to me in the middle seat. And she did her entire evening routine on the airplane. I mean, like, there was just all sorts of, like, cosmetics kinds of smells. She did, like, a face mask thing, you know, the kind that looks like a piece of paper, that a wet pe paper towel you put on your face. She did that. She had, like, lotions and stuff. It took her a good 30 minutes to get through the entire routine. <laughs> But then she fell asleep, so I guess that was a good idea. All right. Um, the next thing I'll open up um, is, well, Calvin says, Yuzu everything is peak Japan. Oh, really? Uh, um, all right. I got, I bought a pair of these. Um, I meant, I you know, I had ordered them so that I could test them out, the noise canceling on the flight to Japan, uh, but they didn't arrive till the day I left. So they were supposed to arrive in time and they just got delayed. So that was a bummer, but I'll test these. Um, I guess my next flight is to Boston and then we've got some other travel planned this summer family-wise. So I guess I'll use it then. So I'll be able to test it then. But I just wanted to show you guys because I love my job at earbuds and I'm kind of disappointed that I don't think that Polycom or it's now just called Poly, the company that bought Jabra, um, I don't think they're doing anything. I think all the I don't I don't know. Are there updates to the Jabra products? It doesn't seem like it. Anyway. Mm. All right. Oh, this is another thing that came too late. It was a uh, travel charger. I don't think I meant to unbox that stuff for you guys. I just think I brought it down here because it needs to live down here in the basement. All right. Let's open this box. We got a little box here. Um, I think you guys will like this one. Calvin says, Sony's have better noise canceling, I thought. So I have these, which are like $100 noise canceling Sony ear headphones. And they're okay. But I was like, oh, I got a lot of long travel coming up. Let's test a couple of different ones. Because I do think that having the noise canceling ear, like the over the ear cups is like, for me, that's my travel hack. Because like, I think that the barrage of noise that hits your brain, if you don't have something covering your ears, um, is really fatiguing. So that's kind of like my travel hack. Stephen Lung says he has the Jabra headset at work and the ANC is great. Good. And Eric says, 
I'm waiting for Jabba to make a headset called The Hut. <laughs> uh, Will Willing wants to know, is two weeks after a half marathon too soon to do an eight mile club race? I don't think, I mean, it's no, probably not. I don't know if you'll be super fresh, but, and it depends on how hard you run that half marathon, but like you might not feel super sharp, but I don't think, you, I don't think it'll, you know, it depends on how hard you run the race and what your expectations are for the club race. If you want to PR in both a half marathon and an eight mile club race, I might try to space them out another week, but I think I'll be all right. All right. In this package we have, A new stride foot pod. They reached out to me a little while ago, told me they have a new one. Um, I haven't, I, I have my original stride still, and I still use that when, I, when I'm on the uh, treadmill for Zwift. But yeah. Hmm. But now there's, I don't know, I don't know what's new on this one. I'll have to do some research. I didn't have the wind powered one. That's how old my original stride is. So at least having wind will be interesting. Um, and so looks like they got some stuff about um, recovery and all that stuff in here too. So it'll be interesting to take a look at that. Rob Sayers says, hey, Cope, is mid to four foot running a conscious foot strike or is it a byproduct of running mechanics? Thanks. Um, I don't, I think that for, for me, it's not a conscious foot strike. That's just kind of how my foot hits the ground. That's what my foot likes to do. Um, I don't know that it's always what it wanted to do. And I'm generally of the opinion that like your foot strike, your gait, um, in large part is a reflection of your body's like own, um, I don't know, physics isn't the right word, uh, anatomy and fitness. And so, um, you know, like people are always trying to like do drills and stuff, which I think is good to help with like running efficiency and running mechanics. But like, I think like someone's saying like, well, I'm a heel striker. And so I'm gonna intentionally try to become a four foot striker. I'm not sure that that's all that helpful. I'm not a coach either. So I don't um, have a, you know that kind of training to be able to make these kind of comments. But my take on it as a runner is, you know, build your fitness and endurance uh, and then your strength, you know, do all those things. And then your foot strike will change and match to what your body needs, all right? So I feel, I feel like people, kind of put the cart before the horse. They say that, well, if I change my foot strike, then I'll become faster, become faster. And then your foot strike will change or stronger or more, have more endurance. You know, that's kind of how I think about it. Mm. Frank says he just has a rat, a rabbit package arrive. So they keep selling the 2.5 inch shorts at a price that is competitive with soap. Nice. I don't think I've ever run in the two and a half um, in shorts. Um, I did find out from Rabbit. I had a phone call with them the other day. Oh, yesterday. Yesterday. No, the day before. And uh, they did let me know that those half tights that I like, are. I think they're sold out right now, but they're going to be back soon, and there's going to be new colors. So I'm pretty excited about that. And they're not changing anything. I don't think it's because I told them not to change anything, but I think maybe if they weren't sure, I was like, don't change a thing, you know? Uh, Al Davino says, congrats, Co. again on the PR. Thank you. 15 rainy miles here on Saturday in California. And there's five weeks to Boston. Any updates on the shakeout run day? It's good. For me, the Kafuzi Run Club shakeout is going to be Sunday. I want to say 9 a.m. I'll have more details that I can announce. Uh, it'll be in April. It'll go, it'll go out, and then I'll share that information with you guys. So, yeah, but it'll be Sunday. So I'm playing on Sunday. And then um, if you're going to be around, I'm doing an event on Saturday, I think evening. So if you're around, um, I'll let you guys know about that. I'll have, like, I'll, I'll make, I'll make, I'll make some sort of content about like, I'll be at a couple of places. So I'll let you guys know where all that is so we can hang out. Jody Beck says, do you think with super shoes that all the old rules of uh, days of rest per mile of running of a day of rest per mile of racing before doing another race is no longer applicable. 
Yeah, I didn't think that that was all that applicable before either. But, you know, I don't race like a professional does. And I think it was Sarah Crouch who came up with that. I don't know if she came up with that rule, but she's the one that I always hear that rule attributed to. I don't race like she does, you know, so um, maybe that's why. I can't, like, dig deep enough to get out of my body, you know. I can't, like, stay in that, like, beat your body up and keep racing kind of, like, mode like a professional athlete can. And so my recovery needs are a little bit different. I went for a run yesterday, and I felt great. I'm not ready to race again, but um, my heart rate was surprisingly low, and my body felt surprisingly good. My right glute was like, ooh, this is a little bit tender. So I felt something like kind of like in that right above like the the hip joint, you know, right on my butt. But otherwise I'm feeling good. Um, I think I'll be ready to race in Boston. Just, you know, I don't know how hard I'm going to race. <laughs> I don't know how hard my mind is going to be willing to push, though. Mm. Jules said, did you see the Alpha Phi 3 prototype in Tokyo? I didn't see any on the course. Now, I think it just released in Japan to like the day we left Tuesday or what day we I don't know what day we left I think we left Tuesday um I think it released that day so I didn't you know Thomas went to a Nike store well it wasn't open though we were there too early and we didn't see any in the window but you know I don't know I don't remember I don't remember seeing any on course some people said that they thought they saw some but I didn't see it all right let's get to Next package. Um, there's two of them that go together. Okay. Yeah, this is a big package here. But this is one that I'm really looking forward to. Although it just snowed yesterday, but otherwise, I'm, I've been in the mode that like spring is here because I was in Nuremberg and it was balmy. And then I was in Tokyo, and Tokyo is warmer than it is here in Chicago. And, like, the cherry blossoms were starting to bloom already over there. So I'm just like, I'm ready. For, like, I'm in spring mindset. Plus, it's daylight saving this weekend, so don't forget to change your clocks. All right. We've got a package from Roka. We've got two sets of sun I think these are just non-prescription sunglasses. That's what we had discussed them sending to me oh my goodness there's a lot of stuff in here i don't know what this like little envelope is oh my goodness they send a lot of stuff this is a lot of glasses they sent three in these like little hard cases and then five in these big cases um all right Let's just, I, I don't know if we have time to go through all of them today. But let me just try one on. Oh, I like this one. Oh, I think I like this one too. Some of them have pictures, some of them don't. So I don't know what they are. But I'll start with uh, just this one. And I, I mean, I won't be able to see them anyway because I don't have, I have contacts in right now. So you'll have to tell me if I look good or if these look bad on me. How do I get this out of here? There we go. All right. Ooh, these are very lightweight. These might be too small for my face. What do you think about these? These are the um, Rory 2.0. You like these? You like these? I don't know. Hmm. Matthew wants to know, Ko, how would you uh, compare the Tokyo course to Chicago? Tokyo looked fast, but there were, s there were several hairpin turns in the race video. Yeah, there were three hairpin turns in the race video and then um, a couple of really hard turns, it seemed. Um, but uh, I felt like, I mean, it, w it started out to be an over as an overcast day, but I felt like there were more kind of buildings to protect me from the shade. And... Um, so I kind of like for fast racing, I think Tokyo is a very fast course with the caveat that like you have to deal with the jet lag and then like you eat very differently over there than you do here. So like those could be some challenges for people, especially some people that have more just generally have challenges with um, carving up before a race in the U.S. So those can be a little tricky, but I felt like it 
it was flatter than Chicago is. And there's a really nice downhill, like at like the four or five kilometer, no, maybe like the two mile mark. So like three kilometers in, there's a really nice downhill that just kind of like helps you relax. And then it was just real, it was nice. And then there was a couple of like little bridges, like overpasses, and they weren't even overpasses. They were just little bridges that you went over that um, were just long enough or just short enough that like you could like, by the time you felt it, you were at the top. You know, I can't see myself in this. I'm looking at the screen. I can't see, but I have a feeling I'm going to like these. So these are the Oslo 2.0. I like these. They're clear with like a blue lens. I like ref I like reflective lenses. I don't have that many blue lens glasses, so this is nice. Mm. Jody says, with all, with all the freebies you're getting, you'll need a warehouse to store everything like Casey. Does he have a warehouse to store everything? That seems excessive. All right. We, we might get to some more of these later if we have some time. But I'm going to try to move on. Because there's a lot of other stuff here that I want to get to. And one of them, I don't know even know what it is. I don't know who it's from. Um... Eliza says I like the first one better. Oh, the Rory 2.0. All right, I'll, I'll take a look at all of them closer. I don't I don't know what this is, but it's addressed to Michael Co. Kofuzi YouTube. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to remember who. So I have a PO box now, so that way, like, when people that I like companies that I don't know are like, we want to send you stuff. And I'm like, I don't know if I want that. I give them the PO box. I can give all the brands that I do know them, you know, I, I, Oh, okay. I remember what this is now. Ah, nice. Fractal sent me a bunch of hats. So this was nice as nice little five panel hat. I like this is like a, there's, I think there, is there one color in here or two? I think there's two. It's like a cream and mint green. And then this one looks nice. This will be nice for the summertime. Super ventilated. Oh, there's a lot of hats in here. Um, I got this. Where we go? There we go. I like that colors. It's like green, yellow, and white, maybe. Maybe that's what those colors are. It's possible. These are all, I think these are all five panel hats. This one is just black. It says fractal on it. Very subtle. I like subtle. I think this one's blue. Oh, this is different. Oh, we got, uh, all right. We've got a little, um, a little beanie. It says fractal on it. And it says Australian born, Australian born, globally worn. And then there's bucket hats. You know that Hoka makes that bucket hat now in a black? I kind of want to get one of those. But this is nice. I don't I don't usually feel like I look good in a bucket hat. Let's try this one. I love the idea of a bucket hat and on a really hot day, it makes a huge difference. That's why I think Walmsley was like a genius. Um, but let me try this one on. Like I brought, oh, it's got a little cinchy thing in the back. I brought one to hang out after Falmouth Road Race last year and it was super hot and I really enjoyed having it on. But like, I look at myself in all the pictures from Falmouth Road Race and like after the after party and I'm just like, I just look like a, I'm like, I look, I look ridiculous. I look like someone, I, I feel look like a little kid found his dad's fishing hat. So let's try this one. We'll see <laughs> if I look like that. Oh, I actually like this one. This one works for me. Do you think I can run in this? I might do some trail running in this. Should I run in it like this? I think I should. I feel like I should run in it like this. I like this a lot. I look like I'm panhandling for gold, you know? Now I look like 
It's about to rain and I'm concerned about it. <laughs> I just don't know how to wear a bucket hat. I'm feeling you just wear it like this and it's fine. Frank says, the hat looks great. Okay, thanks. There we go. This one's nice. It's a nice, like, quick dry material up top. So I like it. Al says, you look like Bill Murray from Caddyshack. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Sean says, put on the bucket hat and those sunglasses, and everyone asks, asking you if you want to buy a Wii. <laughs> uh, funny. All right, Bryce wants the bucket hat with the sunglasses. All right, let's get the sunglasses back out. Um, yeah, we'll try it with the, what do we have them? With the Rory's? We'll get the Rory's back on. We'll try a new one. I don't know what this one is. It doesn't have it doesn't say it on the side. This one has tons of paper in it. Oh, it says there's a note. It says Michael, thank you for your support. Enjoy your new Rokas. This one comes with a case, so th those other ones didn't. Ooh, I, oh, I love this color. My glasses, by the way, are Rokas. My prescription lenses. How do you think about this? I feel like the glasses are nice. I love this color. Like this, I think it's amber. And pair it with this. No one will recognize me. I'm completely in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> These are nice. <laughs> Eliza says this vibe. <laughs> She's got a crying, laughing emoji. <laughs> All right. I look forward to testing out some more of these Roka frames. I like the other day when we were in Tokyo for one of the group runs. You guys will see it. I'm almost done with the Runner's Weekend video. It's going to be an hour long. So like, you know, if you got a long treadmill run coming up, maybe you got hit by some storms. There you go. Um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, for one of the runs, I just forgot to put my contacts in because my Roka prescription lenses are so comfy and I didn't have a problem I'm just running with them. I mean, they're running sunglasses. They're running glasses. So all right. Calvin wants to know is an hour long, uh, and the two hour drop podcast. We're eating good this week. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just started listening to that. Um, and I was like, Oh man, this is over two hours long. That's a long, um, podcast from them. But it was a, I mean, they were there, they were there one less day than me, I think. Um, but I was there for eight days. Or I'm not sure if you count it eight or seven. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. It's weird the way that time flies over there. Um, but yeah, it should be, it should be about an hour long. And I, I watched, mo I was like, after a while, I'm like, I'm getting bored. This is getting repetitive. And so I'll, I'm going to have to spend some time like cutting it down to see what I can like kind of consolidate. Um, but I'll, at the same time, I'm like, you know, these are all like mundane experiences, but they're all mundane experiences in Japan. So they're very, it seems exotic. So I'm like, no, I can't cut too much. And I don't want to jump around in days. I want to keep it relatively chronological. So I'm like, all right, let's figure out how we can do it. But like, you know, I, I was folding laundry last night and watched like 40 minutes of it straight. And I was like, it felt like the pacing was good. So I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. Mm. all right let's get to this next package and then i'll show you guys like the super fun one and then i might have to leave early today because i haven't cleared the driveway of snow yet and each of my neighbors has cleared off part of my sidewalk so now all my sidewalks are done but because each of my neighbors already beat me to it and i think they're like we know this guy ain't going to be able to do his sidewalks right All right, I think there's gonna be a lot of stuff in this box. Um, I think you guys have been asking me about this for a long time and there hasn't been a reason why I haven't seen, worked with these guys before, but finally got in touch with Say Sky. They finally, or we finally connected um, and they sent me a bunch of stuff. This hat is nice. It says Say Sky on the brim, I like that. Feels very uh, Ben Parks. Socks. I could use some more running socks. So this is actually comes in really handy. I like this pattern. They sent me a couple pairs or three pairs. 
I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time cleaning up after this. All right, I think we should open these up and look at them. It's the same pattern as the hat, but it is a, ooh, it's a jacket. I think it might be kind of, oh, it says say sky real big on the butt. Um, is this gonna be a lot? I feel like this is gonna be a lot if I'm like doing, like rocking this and this. Like that's a lot, right? <laughs> this, this looks funny. This looks funny, doesn't it? I don't think I could do both at the same time, but maybe mix and match them a little bit. But I do like this kind of like scuba hood style. Material seems nice and lightweight. It's perfect timing, because for this time of year, this is what I need. Some zip pockets on the side. This is nice. I don't I don't know if we're gonna get through all this stuff. Sean, Sean Devlin says it's like water camo. I like that. This is very bright. This is not water camo. This is just a crew neck. Super, super thin. It's basically see-through. Um, but it's kind of got this like star pattern in, I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera, um, on the front or all over it. And then it's perforated on the back to let some extra heat out. It's got the Say Sky Star on the, over the right kidney. No pockets because it'd be too thin to hold anything in it. But this would be really nice. I feel like that's a good like warm up piece. Like if you're gonna be at the track and you're gonna have maybe a singlet on underneath for your reps, but it's like a little chilly for the warm up, I feel like that's the one to get. And this one is like medium thickness in between those other two. This has like the full say sky patch it's reflective. And then we got another hood, similar cut as the other one, I think. But, oh, I think this whole thing is reflective. I think all these speckles are all reflective. Oh, here we go. The socks, these might be reflective. I think these are reflective socks. And the jacket, you wear that together. And there's zipper pockets. It seems like it's a little, yeah, it's a little bit thinner than the blue one. Or maybe I'm, Imagining it. No, I think it's slightly thinner than the blue one. And then it says on the sleeve in a reflective patch, it says World Ro Worldwide Running Tribe. That's like a tongue to It's like if you're about to get on camera, you say Worldwide Running Tribe. Worldwide Running Tribe. <laughs> oh my, there's a lot here. Um. Next one. It's a two-tone shirt, kind of like an old baseball shirt. It's a Say Sky. Um, a very, the material feels very cool. It's a run, definitely a running material. Um, a little bit on the heavier side. It's got a little Say Sky patch right on the wrist here. No thumb, oh, yep, thumb holes. No thumb holes. No thumb holes and says say sky dry on the side over here with the, just the star on the back on the kidney. You guys know what I'm talking about, like right here, like on the edge of your rib cage towards the back. Oh guys, check this out. <laughs> Pants in the water camo, jacket, in the water camo, hat in the water camo. This is the look. This is the look right here. All these together. I'm gonna run it like this. I'm gonna, yeah, Martha's like, OMG, you need to wear the whole ensemble. This is how I'm going running. The next time it rains, this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> this is amazing. I like it, I like it a lot. Uh, the pants are nice and like flowy, very nice and baggy. I might wear these around the house in the summertime. It's got a zipper uh, on the cuffs on the heel or on the um, by the ankle, and it's got a little bit of a cuff to it at the bottom. It's hard to tell because this camo print. Um, very very thin, but it's got some zipper pockets on one on each side, and then a butt pocket where I'm not sure if a phone can fit in there. It says Say Sky right on the thigh, and then this right on the butt. This is the spot on my glutes that was a little bit tight yesterday. So maybe that's like a, it's a, it's a target for the, 
for the percussion gun, the massager. All right. Nice. I was kind of hoping that there was a whole outfit. <laughs> yeah, and this is here. He says, Hi, Kapuzin, everybody. Say, Sky Gear has arrived. I see. Yeah, they sent a big package. All right, this is the last one. Ooh, nice. Ooh, these are pretty. Tights, long tights. Um, says, Say, Sky. It fades from black to gray. Um, as you get closer to the ankle, it's got a butt pocket, like over the um, small of your back. And then a big star over the knee. And it's got a side pocket on one side, a drop-in side pocket, which I like. And then one on the other side, too. So you could definitely fit a bunch of gels in this. A little say sky patch right here along the waistband. That's going to be like in the front, like right by the front the hip bone. Uh, yeah, they are not lined. And uh, nice stretchy waistband. I feel like these are a, um, this material kind of reminds me of the material. It's a little bit less shimmery and like kind of slippery than the material. And the bandit sent me a pair of half tights. That stuff like very shiny and like slippery. This is kind of like that, but not quite as much. But yeah, there we go. That's it for the Say Sky. That's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna have to take, take me a while to get through that. All right. And now I gotta show you something else that I got. Someone someone gave this to me when I was in Tokyo at the Shakeout Run. Um, there's a guy, a runner, who his wife is a painter, and she gave me a package, a special gift. And it was like you know it was like a present in like a, a Starbucks coffee bag. And I was just like, oh, thank you. And she's like, open it. I was like, okay, okay. Um, so I opened it, and I'm kind of I'm glad I did. But the artist is uh, Maika. Mail is Suzuki Maika one at gmail.com or Instagram, Maika underscore artworks. But this is what she painted. <laughs> it has some oversized features of me. Um, but I'm eating a giant slice of pizza in an only t-shirt, which I feel like that's pretty good. And she did a good job of my signature, which I would expect an artist to be able to do pretty easy. But here we go. This is it. It's like looking in a mirror. I'm actually wearing, this is not the non-elite shirt, but it's that same t-shirt just without print on it, the Path Project one. So it's like, do you see the resemblance? The resemblance is right here. Here we go. She even got my receding hairline really good, you know? <laughs> uh, is it in slow-mo? It's glittery, though. I don't know if that camera's picking that up. Yeah, see, it. there's glitter in it, too. Now, he said that there's something along the sides of it, too, that I have to take a look at, and I didn't do that yet. Oh, look at that. So you and you open it up. It says Michael. None. Elite Runner, Kofuzi, we love Michael, not Elite Runner. Look at that. So there's a little Easter egg even in it. So I'm not going to be able to get this back in the container. I think it goes like this and then this. But there we go. Let's get this back on so I don't l like wreck this thing. I got it back in the th back in the frame, no problem. All right, I don't know where I'm gonna put that, but we'll have to find a spot for it. <laughs> uh, Martha, remember the dark days of the pandemic when Chicago pizza was considered an oxymoron, and we were to interpret it as an SOS? I forgot about that. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was so funny. Oh, that was great. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> Oh, good memories, Martha. That was good memories. All right. No, I don't think that I said. So I think Roka actually just sent me five pairs of glasses. They didn't send me eight. I think these are just cases. There's nothing in them. But yeah. So it's just a. They sent some cases because not all the sunglasses come with cases. So 
there's that. I think I tried this one on. Let's try the rest of them. We did Rory 2.0. We did, uh, I think we did Oslo 2.0. This one, I don't know what it is. Mm. This one does have a case. Ooh, these are pretty. I love a good tortoise shell. So I'm gonna see if you can see the frame. Mm, you're, the camera's not gonna be able to pick that up. But like tortoise shell, like a smoky lens. What do we think about that? I look the same to me because I can't see very well. When I look at myself in the computer screen down here, I look the same in all, <laughs> all of them. So they they're, they just feel so incredibly light. I mean, even my prescription lenses are um, very light. These are lighter, I guess, because then they don't have to put the Coke bottles in for my bad eyesight. I think these are my favorites so far. Oh no, I like the amber ones. The amber ones are my favorite. <laughs> Eric says, it's more of a French uh, Riviera vibe. Yeah, there we go. Maybe Asics has a race that they sponsored down in Cannes. We could do that. Um, all right. You know, I brought sunglasses to Tokyo, but there wasn't a, I, I could have maybe worn them on the day of the race, but other than that, it was never like so bright that I felt like I needed to wear sunglasses. These though, these are very different from all the other ones. Like this, it looks purple to me. And then the lenses also look purple. You guys can let me know if I'm crazy about that, but I think it's probably just like a smoky crystal. It's probably like the official color, but you know, my eyes are funny. I mean, like these are okay. I mean, I, generally, I feel like a little bit of a bigger lens because I have a big face, I think, or a big head. I think the bigger lens probably is better, but this has much more of like a modern, like a uh, workout vibe. Whereas these other ones, I feel like those I definitely want to run in. But they also feel like certainly can be chilling and living life in those, sitting by the pool. I was getting pretty excited the other day because it felt warm. And I was like, ooh, it's almost fire pit time. We bought a fire pit last year, and um, we only used it a handful of times. But then since then, we went to the – the town does a twice-yearly firewood sale. So, like, anytime there's downed trees or anything like that that the park district here has to um, take up, they chop them up and turn them into firewood. And uh, one of the parks that I run by – is like the storage area for it where they like dry out the wood and stuff. And so um, I've been seeing like the large pile of wood. It's almost firewood sale time. So I'm excited about that. And JC, is it, are they blue blockers? Oh, I don't know. You know, blue blockers were ahead of their time because now like my kids have blue light blocking glasses. You know, I don't know. Mm. All right. Shannon says, amber is the color of your energy. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Would that be a good karaoke song? I don't know if it would be. I think it's like too chill, you know? Mm, another question here. Cameron Ty Johnson says, are you doing the Shamrock Shuffle? Mike? Wasn't, didn't they already do that? Didn't they already have it? Because this weekend is the St. Patrick's Day Parade when they dye the river green, right? What's the Shamrock Shuffle? I don't know. I, w I wasn't planning on it because I knew it was near Tokyo time. So I was like, I don't I don't think so. Uh, the next race I will be doing is um, I'll be in D.C. for the Cherry Blossom 10 miler, which I'm really excited about. I don't know that I'll run faster than my time last year because it's only in like a couple of weeks, um, basically like two week two weekends from not this weekend, not next weekend, but the weekend after that. Um, and, uh, you know, still, I'm not sure where I'm going to be from coming back from Tokyo, but it's going to be super cool because it's like the whole cherry blossom thing. I learned a lot about it last year where a lot of those trees are transplanted and given, I think they're given their, I don't think they were gifts. I think they were like, not on loan is not the right word, but like given in trust. They're Japanese trees. They're like, I think technically the product of the property of Japan. 
um, I don't know about all of them, but the first original batch that came over. And so to have seen cherry blossoms in Japan and then to go run the cherry blossom race shortly afterwards is pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. We're going to have a big event that weekend, too. Um, it's going to be, I believe, in the Run Kavuzi collab event again. Um, the ShakeOut Run will be a little bit longer this year. We're doing it with, I think, one of the run groups down there or one of the running stores. I forget. I got, I had gotten details while we were over there, but I've forgotten a lot of the things that people told me while we were over there. A lot of information came my way. I forgot a lot of it. Um, it's a good thing I have a video camera for everything, though, because otherwise I would have forgotten like most of this trip. But, yeah, so that's coming up, too. So if you're in the D.C. area, let's come hang out. Um, I think the T-shirts are going to be – I think we're doing a T-shirt giveaway like we did last year. I think it's going to be really good. Th Thomas was like, if you need help with graphics, I will help you because he knows that I can't. I don't have time for that. So he's like, I will help you. <laughs> <laughs> so it should be good. I have some ideas. You know, I think I'm going to give um, – like Asics has my, like, Kofuzi signature. And so they've been doing that for, like, heat pressing and stuff. But I think we should have them um, see if they'll heat press the Kofuzi Run Club logo, the dragon. So that way, if we can get that on a shirt, I think that would be pretty cool. I don't know if that'll happen for DC, but I have another event that I think that a lot of you guys are going to that maybe we can work that out. So that's just some stuff coming up. Um. Cameron Ty Johnson wants to know if I've ever run the Crazy Legs in Madison. No, I haven't. I do like, um, I do like Madison quite a bit. That's a fun town. I enjoy that place. Um, I don't. I love Wisconsin. I don't always feel the most welcome in Wisconsin, but I love Wisconsin, especially the Spotted Cow. That's really good beer. Uh, <laughs> and the cheese and the food. Uh, all aspects of the, most aspects of the culture I really enjoy in Madison and in Wisconsin. But I feel like Madison does it really well because it's a college town. So, um, let's see. Uh, I think that's going to be a good place to leave it for today because I got to go out there and, and um, clear the driveway of snow, even though I feel like it's melting right now. I just feel like I got to, I think the neighbors are kind of like tisk tisking me from their houses. So I got to go do that and take care of it. Um, and then I got to go pick up some medication for, uh, one of the kids. So I got, I got some errands to run. I got to do that all before they get home. So I got to get going. Hopefully I'll get the, um, I'm going to try to get the runner's weekend video out tonight, but it's an hour long. And so rendering, it's going to take a long time uploading it and having YouTube process. is going to take a while. So it's just going to come out when it comes out. Hopefully I'll get it to you guys uh, for your Saturday morning long runs if you're going to be on the treadmill. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, and I'm going to be pushing it a lot, like promoting it a lot, so hopefully that doesn't get too annoying because, you know, it's. I didn't want to make it four videos. Um, and so I'm just going to make it one long one. So it's okay if it takes multiple times, but feel free to like it a bunch of times. Well, you can only like it once, but comment a bunch of times uh, and help me share it so that way people can see what it's like to travel as a runner in Japan. So... Hopefully that'll be out in the next within the next day. The next day. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys on Monday then. Uh, in the meantime, be safe out there. Enjoy your long runs this weekend. Bye. <laughs>